This is gonna be a disaster, I can already tell. Hello everyone, I'm Gunnar Rolla and I am not a crafter, but I'm hoping that you'll join me as I test out some projects to see if they really work. Today we are going to melt away all of our stresses and worries with a fragrant, beautiful, I hope, bath bomb. They said it was gonna be easy, but there are already way too many bowls involved, but I'm sure it's gonna be worth it. So let's get started. Two cups of baking soda. So the same stuff you use to keep your fridge fresh, you can keep your body fresh. <laughs> okay, I think I got some in my mouth. <laughs> one cup of Epsom salt, one cup of citric acid, and one cup of cornstarch. So I just used cornstarch in a recipe for fried chicken. Um, so I'm not really sure what business it has in a bath bomb. We're just gonna trust the process. All right, let's give that a good mix. All right, let's get the gloves on for this next step. That hurt. Five tablespoons of coconut oil and some essential oils. I've got bergamot and peppermint, my two favorite scents. Ooh, that's fresh. I'm feeling this one, so we're just gonna add a little bit of that. That seems like enough. Nope, maybe a bit more. And now we're supposed to gently mix everything together. Woo! There's a lot of oil in this. Did I put too much oil? So it's starting to clump together. <laughs> and it's also getting in my mouth somehow, but it smells amazing. And now it's time for some light misting with water. It is reacting with the baking soda. This smells like a whole orange right now. So we're supposed to stop once the mixture holds together, and it seems to be doing that. That looks about right, not bad. All right, now it's time to add some color. Let's just put some of this mixture in this bowl and on the table. All right, we can lose the gloves for this. So we're gonna take some watercolor and start with five drops each. One, two, three. Oh my God, it's bubbling. Why is that happening? All right, let's mix it up. It's a little splotchy. I don't know if I did that right. The paint's kind of clumpy, but it seems to be distributing. I'm just curious to know how that would translate to a bathing situation. Would you be bathing with paint? You know, the yellow kind of looks like when it's snowing and you take your dog outside. Sorry, that is not the image that you want in your bath bomb. All right, so now we're gonna fill our bath bomb molds, which I was able to get a hold of. So we wanna overfill each side. And now, the moment of truth, we're gonna snap them together. Oh, <laughs> did that work? Let's see what we got. Something didn't work there. Um, let's try that again. I think I didn't put enough mixture in. All right, take two. Here we go. <gasps> All right, please, 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 please stay together. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see if the other side is good. Oh, <gasps> it's a ball. I mean, it's a bomb. It's intact. I mean, there's just as much of it on the table right now. Let's set you aside. Now my kit actually came with these tiny molds. Little baby bath bombs. <laughs> yeah, but that didn't quite work. So I figured out the key to making this work is that you really have to pack your mold tightly and then overfill it so that when you take it apart, it's pretty good. So these look decent. I mean, I'm probably not gonna open my own Etsy shop just yet, but they smell great and they are a round-ish. So we're gonna leave these overnight and then get testing. All right, it's a new day and I have to say I'm pretty impressed. It kept its shape and that bergamot oil, excellent choice. All right, it's time for the moment of truth. Let's put them to the test. Whoa, it's going. Wow. Well, there you have it. The bath bomb actually worked. It smells amazing in here and my skin is so soft thanks to those oils. The baby bath bomb actually made a much more dramatic impression. So it just goes to show good things really do come in small packages. In the comments below, let me know which project we should test out next. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Stay crafty.